tech news, man. It's always going. It doesn't wait for you. It doesn't wait for Jeremy here. And it doesn't wait for Netlink Daily. So, so we sh should probably get it going. Those concerned with PC security had a bit of a nail-biting weekend as part of the Windows 10 source code leaked onto the internet. Although initial reports indicated that the leak encompassed a significant portion of the code, including many unreleased internal builds, Microsoft later stated that the leak was relatively minor, with much of the 32 terabytes of data already having been available online for months or years. The company eventually claimed that the leaked files are in fact part of the Share Source initiative, which allows Microsoft to share parts of the Windows 10 source code, namely those relating to USB storage and Wi-Fi drivers, with its third-party partners like OEMs. So while the leak isn't as scary as originally thought, the leaked data could still pose a risk if ne'er-do-wells make use of it to craft exploits. But what can any of us do, really, to prevent terrible things from happening to us? Go live out the rest of our lives in an underground bunker cut off from the outside world? Yes, actually, that, that's, that's one way. Uh, yeah. or, or use an antivirus. Info on AMD's Radeon Vega Frontier Edition graphics card have been somewhat scarce, but PC World just published an exclusive hands-on preview. They were allowed to run the card in some synthetic benchmarks like Cinebench and SpecView Perf, and even played games on it, although they were not allowed to see specific performance metrics like FPS. Vega scored around 15-50% to 50 higher than the Titan XP in the synthetics, and in gaming, PC World could only say that they couldn't tell the difference between the Vega and the Titan XP in Doom, Prey, and Sniper Elite 4, which doesn't sound bad at all. In case you're confused, the Frontier Edition is not intended for gaming. That will be up to Radeon RX Vega, which is set to be unveiled on July 30th at SIGGRAPH. But it's nice to know, if you do get the Vega FE for work, you can probably use it for some gaming as well. <laughs> but not too much. You got work to do. An error has been identified in Skylake and KB Lake based processors that can cause unpredictable system behavior like crashes. The flaw was discovered by some of the developers of Debian, a popular flavor of Linux, and can be triggered by hyperthreading, not just in Linux, but Windows as well. Now, obviously, Skylake has been out since August 2015, and we're just hearing of this now, but if you've experienced crashes while running multi core intensive programs, then this might be the cause. Intel and motherboard makers are working on distributing the fix, so update your board's BIOS, then head head back into that underground bunker where it's safe. What's that? It's time for the Quake Boats. Ah, <laughs> no, it's Quake Bits. Nintendo has followed up their miniaturized NES Classic with the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition, complete with two controllers and 21 bundled games, including the unreleased sequel to the original Star Fox, Star Fox 2, all for $79.99 US. There's a European and an American version, so choose carefully depending on how you feel about the color purple. Or don't choose at all, because there's probably better things you could spend 80 bucks plus tax on. Speaking of retro games, last week the launch of Sega Forever, which emulates classic Sega games on mobile devices, went terribly, thanks in part to the service's shoddy emulation through the Unity engine. SpaceX is on a roll, launching and landing two rockets on the weekend, making for a total of nine launches this year. But it begs the question, if space is so great, why do the rockets keep coming back? Huh? Wake up, sheeple. Speaking of space, lasers! The US government is going to be using them in the photonic fence, a device that will protect fields of crops by selectively zapping problematic bugs with lasers. It can detect insects like mosquitoes within 100 meters and destroy 20 of them per second. I don't know why I'm so stoked for this, but I am. F you bugs. Family friendly. And cryptocurrency mining is all the rage again, so we're starting to see more PC parts intended specifically for that purpose, like Sapphire's Radeon RX 470 Mining Edition with no display output, so you couldn't even game on it if you tried. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Integer. It's pronounced like integer. Hard G. Integer. Yes, I'm sorry, I said integer in that video. I often read words and then say them how I want to say them even though that's not the way you're supposed to say them. Like, for instance, I say GIF, even though that's 100% wrong. Hands up in the audience, who played Destiny on console? I, I, I didn't, so. I'm not sure what to expect when it launches on PC, to be honest. But I do know that Bungie did a heck of a job with the Halo games, and I loved those, so maybe I'll give it a chance. And hey, if you're in the market for a GPU, you could give it a chance too, for free. 
For a limited time, buy select GeForce GTX graphics cards and laptops and get early beta access to Destiny 2 on PC. You can be a blue guy in the game. I think it's one of the only games you can be a blue guy. Click the button in the corner or the link in the description for details. <laughs> All right, that's it for Nailing Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits. We're going to be announcing the winner for that next Tuesday. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you excuse me, I have an underground bunker to hide out in. There's the, it's the world's a scary place. <laughs>